We are going to look at exponents with decimal and fraction bases. Evaluate, write your answer as a fraction or whole number. Okay, so notice we're raising the fraction one third to the second power. When you have a fraction base and the whole thing is being raised to an exponent, we can tell because we've got our parentheses here, that means we have one to the second power over three to the second power. Notice that exponent is being applied to both the numerator or the top and the denominator or bottom of our fraction. And now we can work it out. One squared or one times one gives us one, and three squared or three times three gives us nine. So our answer would be one over nine. We have a similar problem here to evaluate. And just like last time, the parentheses are grouping that 3 over 4 as our base, and the whole thing is being raised to the third power. So that makes it 3 to the third power over 4 to the third power, again, giving both the top and the bottom that exponent. 3 to the third power, or 3 times 3 times 3, gives us 27, right? 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 again is 27. And 4 to the third power gives us 64. 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 again is 64. So we would write 1 fourth raised to the second power as 1 squared over 4 squared. 1 squared is 1, and 4 squared is 16, so that gives us 1 16th. When you have a decimal, 0.04 raised to the third power, I would recommend using your calculator, 0.04 raised to the third power, and it's going to give us 0.04. A decimal answer that looks like this. Now, if you are not allowed to use a calculator, if that's what your teacher tells you or for your specific problem set, another way to do this is to say, okay, well, 4 is in the hundredths place. So 0 0.04 is the same thing as saying 4 out of 100, right? 4 hundredths, written two different ways. And then you could do it the same way we did it before, where you say 4 to the third power over 100 to the third power. So again, two ways to do the same problem, just depending on whether you're allowed to use a calculator and your preference a little bit here too. And either way, we're going to wind up with an equivalent answer. Okay, so 0 0.01 raised to the second power. Now you could put this decimal in your calculator and square it. Again, the other way to look at it is to say this is 1 one hundredth, right, since 1 is in the hundredths place. So this is the same thing as saying 1 over 100 raised to the second power. And we know that's 1 squared over 100 squared, which is 1 over 10,000. Now, if you do the decimal version and you put 0 0.01 in your calculator, square it, you're going to get point zero point zero 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 one. So notice these two answers are exactly the same, even though they look different. 1 over 10,000 would be our fraction answer. Or as a decimal, notice the 1. This is our tens, hundredths, thousands, ten thousandths place. So 
So this means the same thing as one ten thousandth. 